Hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your monthly reading for the month of May 2021. Said in the weekly readings, can't believe we're here already, but so be it. This is where we are, obviously. Um, this consists of the Spirit Animal Oracle, Moontology Oracle, Celtic Cross Reading, which does include reversals, all cards clarified, and still finish with the Star Temple Oracle. So, um, I've started this new job this is my second day so it's morning now before I'm going to work and trying to get some of these done so they'll be uploaded um, on Sunday bearing in mind I'm in Australia so some of you will be Saturday but um, yeah hopefully we'll get through these after work and on Saturday so that they're ready to go on Sunday but we'll begin so cancer I actually have a later starting time so um, so that's quite good to get some of these done in the morning as well so that's going to help okay so cancer you get number 47 pig spirit use your mind wisely okay yep thinking things through before putting plans into action and um, yeah being a bit, a bit logical a lot logical and um, thinking things through clearly and being quite level-headed so moontology Okay, well, you get the new moon in Libra, a new romantic cycle begins, but use your mind wisely <laughs> along the way, so love that. <laughs> okay, so as I said, these do include the reversals, the Celtic cross readings, so... I think today's Wednesday. If I can do two each morning, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday before work. I've got to do the quick fire reading for the weekend and then maybe a couple after work. Should all upload on Sunday. Right, so cancer. Okay, so overall, there's the Ten of Cups, it is reversed, so when I get the reversals, I do try and say in clarification, we may be able to get them turned up right, all the clarifications are done up right, but this overall for the week, Ten of Cups, and it is reversed, so feeling like there's an opportunity lost here to gain um, something towards some sort of emotional happiness and stability, things may not be working so smoothly as you are hoping for the month and um, as I said we may be able to get that turned around in um, clarifications I've got a, still got a bit of a croaky voice so bear with me okay your energy now the eight of swords feeling like you're in a stalemate situation may very well be presented with this okay but finding other ways around things you are crossed with the empress here so using your intuition to figure things out and um, find another way around things using your mind wisely and um, yeah go up the hill and around the front and carry on that journey so nothing's ever there to block you completely bring you to a grinding halt but maybe to say okay well we can't go any further this way so now where do we go from here and carry on to that destination so love that okay in your strength theory you have got the two of pentacles it is reversed you may be feeling like things aren't balanced at the moment things may be a bit out of control whether that's personally whether it's at work whether it's around home but again trying to clarify that in um 
in your clarifications, <laughs> if that makes sense, and um, get that upright because it's in your strength area as well. Always take strength to get things and maintain things in, in balance there. Above you, you have got the Four of Wands. Again, it is reversed, so talking about things not feeling very stable. Um, somebody may not be wanting to step up to the next level of commitment. Again, whether that's at work, whether that's personally, and um, having it reversed, it's like it leaves things a bit on tenterhooks and, you know, well, where exactly is this going? Past energies, maybe why you think things have come to a grinding halt because the chariot reverse could be dealing with another cancer, that's your card, but talking about um, if that chariot's broken apart, if people are pulling you in different directions wanting you to do this and that, then that's stagnant, the, ch the chariot's not going to move anywhere, there's no movement happening. So again, getting that back into alignment, getting that upright and getting that movement and momentum going again, that is in your past energies. Incoming energies is the lovers, and again, it's reversed. So, soulmate twin flame, somebody significant here, but you may be feeling like you're doing everything on your own. Um, you know, there's no support there from somebody significant if you're in an existing relationship. Others of you, as I said, when we clarify, we'll try and get it up the right way. Might be some missed opportunities that may come along um, for you to actually see who. <laughs> Who that is um, pertaining to so again when we clarify we'll try to get that up right especially as that's your incoming energies okay so what you need to know queen of wands you've got quite a few reversals here but the rest are upright that we finish with after this but the queen of wands reversed as well you're a bit closed off given all this energy that's happening here not surprising that you're a bit closed off not wanting to share your dreams and goals and ideas with anyone else because as i said you think you're here on this journey alone at the moment and um it might be once we get those turned around um and remember new romantic cycle begins whether in an existing relationship or meeting somebody brand new so we may very well get these things turned around and um, get things moving okay how others see you they see you as the nine of swords so they see you as overthinking things maybe a bit stressful um, with the situation that's going on here but at the same time it is talking about being aware that um, that over overthinking and the wheels turning and turning in your head may be unnecessary and um, coming back use your mind wisely take time out think things through clearly and um, clear some of that energy up as well your hopes and fears princess of pentacles there is teamwork and collaboration somebody wanting to come in and make a successful go of things with you okay you may be fearful that um, as I said if you're thinking you're doing this on your own that you're going to go through these repeat patterns of having to end up carrying this load on your own and others of you hopeful that yes somebody might be able to come in and help me with this problem shared problem halved so love that and I love this you finish off okay overall with the seven of wands there's persistence here love that not giving up not quitting you're here to see this journey through and get to the end of that um, that journey there so do love that as well okay cancer so we will clarify each of these cards <clears throat> I don't know if you watched last month's readings um, I usually have a different pack of cards that I use but when I moved house they're still in the shed and it's taken me this long and I still haven't brought them out so I've been talking about going and getting some new cards I've been talking about that for about six months because <laughs> I think I've been doing these for six months now and um, yeah i'm a useless shopper it still hasn't happened right but cancer overall for the month ten of cups reversed you get the knight of cups knight of pentacles and the empress i think you're very aware that there is love here and there is love around you but with that knight of pentacles right in the middle there patience is required it's very slow moving it may be still incoming and um 
it may still be on its way with that Knight of Pentacles slowest energy of the pack there but you've been the Empress there you're very aware that it is on it, it is around it's on its way and um, you're also very aware of others feelings so love that okay present energies you've got the eight of swords with the king of cups nine of cups and the world yeah when it comes to love you as I said you may think that you've actually come as far as you can go you've reached a stalemate situation but the world's still turning there it's going it's going around in the background here and um, divine timing it'll happen things will happen when they happen if it's meant to be it will be and moontology you have got that new romantic cycle begins and I think you're feeling that stalemate situation around love and emotions there with the king of cups and the nine of cups there but um, things are turning in the background for you and as we said overall knight of pentacles just maybe patience because you crossed here with the Empress as well. The Moon, the Chariot, and the Two of Swords. Could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces, but hidden fears that, um, you know, this is not gonna come through. Okay, take that cross, um, take that crossroads off. <laughs> yep. <laughs> take that blindfold off and have a look at each path clearly where you actually can be heading towards because that chariot's up right there and getting things back into alignment, back into control of the situation and getting some forward movement happening. So, love that. Strength area, you've got the two of pentacles reversed with the devil, three of swords and temperance. That's why you're feeling like things are out of control. There's this negative energy hanging around, possibly still relating to a broken heart um, from a third party situation, whether that's personal, whether it's at work, but you're feeling bound and you're feeling chained to that energy still. And that gives you that two of pentacles reversed in um, energy of feeling like things aren't actually in control as you'd like them to be. But you have got temperance there as well. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius and getting some movement happening, getting some balance back into, into the situation here and doing things in moderation, not overindulging in things. And that will gain that control back there. Okay, what's above you is the Four of Wands reversed with the Five of Cups, the High Priestess, Five of Swords. Yeah, it's a battle to get through this energy. Um, feeling like nobody's stepping up in commitment here. Again, I said whether it's personal, whether it's at work. But um, feeling a sense of loss and um, grief here with that Five of Cups. But being aware that there's other loving energy around you. But you're just not wanting to let your guard down too much with that High Priestess. You're actually just being observant now. And you're not going to go rushing into something there but with that five of swords being a battle card I say either you stay and fight for something or you walk away either way it's a victory if it's going to um, to give you some some momentum to keep moving forward there past energies you've got the chariot reversed with the seven of cups seven of pentacles ten of cups there's options presented in front of you in the past and it was a lot of hard work making choices and decisions um, to try and keep things together when it came to emotional love and happiness with um, happy family life I say but um, with that ten of cups but just check each option out carefully go with what's right for you maybe choosing something extremely brand new that you haven't chosen before see where that path leads you and um, but it is maybe taking a lot of work to make a choice and decision back in the past of something incoming energies we've got the lovers reversed so you've got the three of wands four of cups six of swords love that seeing the bigger picture I always say seeing a situation for what it really is but for the lovers reversed you may actually be seeing somebody for who they really are it may be in, in a negative way it may be in a more positive way but you're focused on one particular energy here and there's still other loving energy around you so it is talking about shifting your vision seeing things clearly and being able to move forward with that six of swords possibly in secret for some of you but um it is flowing into moving forward and getting some momentum happening maybe moving to another town maybe physically moving it may be just moving your energy towards something new there so love that Okay, so how are this, um, sorry, 
what you need to know Queen of Wands reversed page of cups ace of cups and the ten of wands yeah so you need to know that there is love here there's a new chapter in love somebody wanting to come and start something fresh and brand new with you again whether it's existing whether it's meeting somebody extremely brand new but again easing that burden you've as I said, all through this reading, you felt like you're carrying this load on your own, this huge weight on your shoulders, but that's actually finishing that cycle with the 10. It's coming to an end, and there's love here possibly to help heal that. So we said before, problem shared, problem halved, and um, you've got the Ace of Cups and your Moontology. A new romantic cycle begins. Bam, there it is. Okay, so how others see you is the Nine of Swords with the Lovers, Three of Cups and the Star. Could be dealing with a Gemini or an Aquarius, but yeah, finally something to celebrate. As I said, somebody significant, Soulmate Twin Flame coming in, problem shared, problem halved. We've got your hopes and your dreams and um, where the two of you may be able to go towards now. Again, maybe meeting somebody brand new, maybe somebody existing, but there's reason to celebrate celebrate easing that energy of the nine of swords the stress that you have been going through so love that too okay so hopes and fears you've got the princess of pentacles with the seven of wands ace of wands four of pentacles again persistence not giving up that's your final outcome card as well not quitting on something here there is an apology that may be due whether that's to be given whether it's to be received but um, there is persistence not giving up but you're also hanging on to something still that may come right back to here with that devil energy um, or that five of cups energy and um, you're not wanting to just let go of everything all at once here so you're still hanging on to something or someone but you have got this brand new beginning to head towards with that Ace of Wands, brand new dream. And there's persistence there as well. And your final outcome is persistence with the Seven of Wands, which gives you strength, death, and the Page of Swords. So it could be dealing with a Leo or a Scorpio, but again, taking strength to persist with something and not give up on something or someone. Okay, but releasing the energy, allowing yourself to let everything go that's not actually serving you and riding forward into a brand new chapter because the way that's riding forward into that page of swords, you're ready for this, you're ready for the challenge and let's get things moving now. So love that. Okay, so Cancer, we'll see what the universe has to say. Yeah, the six of wands five of pentacles six of pentacles look at that balance each side with the two sixes and six of pentacles talks about balance and equal give and take but there's a victory here overall for the month something becomes I always say reachable obtainable okay this card is feeling abandoned and left out and things are out of reach but actually you've got that with the six of wands so victory finally reaching some sort of goal there and making sure along the way that things are equal give and take always say if you do all the giving and no taking that means somebody else is doing all the taking and no giving so make sure that it does play out evenly there okay and cancer we finish with the star temple oracle And you get number two, beloved Zeus, lovers. This cosmic union is destined for greatness. Love it. And that new romantic cycle begins. And you have had the lovers twice in this reading. Double dose of that. So definitely somebody's on this journey with you. You may not know it yet. And for others, you may actually know who that is. And um, yeah way the two of you go so love it so cancer that is what i have for you for the month of may 2021 i do hope it helped if you click that like and subscribe button down there thanks for watching and i'll see you next week for the weeklies see ya bye